Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris here. Just wanted to give you guys a little update on Neo. If you could like, subscribe, all that, it really helps us out and I greatly appreciate it. So guys, I think Neo right now, um, remember I'm not your financial advisor or anything like that, but if you wanted to take a position in Neo, I think it would be a decent time just to slowly start laddering in because obviously, you know, with this market we could still have more drops. But you guys have to look at where we've come from. Neo was up, so I have this on the Fibonacci here. Neo at one point was up to $200, guys. $200, think about that. And now we're looking at $28. So what we've had here, we've retraced more than the 786. We're almost heading down to this one, which is a full retracement around $14, guys. So we're in this channel here between this one and the 786. Okay, now overhead resistance, we have our 12 and our 24 EMAs, and our 12 is at $33, and our 24 is at $38 right now. So until we break up above those, we're just going to continue to trend downwards, guys. Okay, that's basically how it works. They're acting as resistance for us right now, pushing us down. So we have those to break through, and we also have the 786 retracement, which I feel like we could come up there and test that at least, guys. So say you were to buy in a position at $28 now, we could have a reaction to come up and test that at around $54 or so. Now, when we look at the MACD down here, and guys, remember, you always want to buy stuff when it's had, you know, that real deep retracement, that 786, almost a full retracement. I mean, you want to be picking stuff up when other people are scared and they're running away from it. That's when you want to buy. So always keep that in mind. I think it's really important. And also remember that NEO is going to be China's Ethereum, essentially, where all these businesses and smart contracts, everything are going to be built on NEO. And guys, we saw China's president's Xi, Xi or Xi, whatever it is, was positive on blockchain and said that it's going to be huge. So I don't see any type of bans or whatever staying on cryptocurrency in terms of China and those type of things. So, you know, you got to have to watch things and then be prepared, just like how Facebook, of course, said they were going to ban ads so the price could get knocked down. And then all the big guys are going to buy it back up. And now all of a sudden, oh, there's no ban besides on ICOs. Which I think the ICOs eventually will um, become, you know, on ban for them as well once they see the profit in them. But taking a look at our MACD here as well. So we've been underneath for quite a while now, guys. I'm not even going to count that little cross because it really wasn't anything. So we started to drop around the 2nd of May. So it's almost been two months that we've just been in this nasty, gnarly downtrend that the whole market's been in but the macd really isn't looking too bad guys right here we're starting to come back a little bit and you can also see how deep the histogram was here and now we're starting to have where it's tapering back and it looks like it almost wants to flip back over now here's a little more square so we'll have to see but always pay attention to that thing just like up here do you see the histogram how we were moving up and then it started to curve back down and that was our indication we were going to go back down and there it was so MACD is a lagging indicator, but I think it's a very important indicator. So let's also check out the RSI on this. But it's just amazing how this full market cycle is taking place, guys. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. So keep that in mind that we are really deep on the retracement. And then our RSI, take a look at this, guys. Look how low we are. So typically in a traditional stock market... Over 70 is overbought and under 30 is oversold. And we're sitting out on the daily at 24 right now. So basically this is about the lowest we have been, my friends. So go about right, right there. I mean, we're, we're as low as, <laughs> low as it's been. So, you know, if you want to buy low and sell high, this isn't a bad spot to start laddering in a little bit. So you know, keep that in mind. I'm not your financial advisor. Just wanted to help you out and uh, show you that that's one I have my eye on. And I've uh, been looking at it for quite a while now. So I'm just deciding when I want to pull the trigger and buy a few of them. Been bouncing around between a few different currencies and just want to do a little bit of shopping. And uh, excuse me, guys. It's been a, been a long day already. Been up real early. So um, I apologize for that, but just keep an eye out on those RSI levels and we'll see if we can get a bounce off this because even if we bounced off here guys and ran up to here, that's going to be some significant gains. Like I said, you know, what if we could come up and test this again at around 93 once we, once we get moving, that would, 
that would be great just to even see a price go from 80 or 28 up to about you know 95 even if that meant we were coming up here and then another big drop it would at least be good gains and then if you had confirmation of a fall then you could get out but you know guys just protect your capital at all costs and uh check the candles here while we're at it quick guys i really appreciate you being here with me i know it's tough during this market so you know it's not as exciting as making videos when everything's going well but it is what it is so and you can see these these EMAs, I mean, guys, that is just real, real heavy support, and we're just getting pushed downwards on them. We've really got to break up through them. That's the key. So even right here, we broke through, and then we couldn't get through the 24. So we got through the 12, couldn't get through the 24. Mm. So watch out for fake outs, all those type of things. It seems to happen a lot in this market, guys. But God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for liking, subscribing, all that. It means the world to me. Take care.